Okay, good morning. So that was Professor Green with Remedy. Before the travel and weather, I played Cypress Hill, Let's Go, and before the short break, Labyrinth, Express Yourself. So guys, my surprise has arrived. So, what's been happening, guys? I'm finally here. I'm finally, finally here. <laughs> Mr. Stallone, where have you been? We've oh, been waiting for you. Know you. I've been en route, and it's been a bit traumatising, but I finally made it, and I'm here, so I'm very excited to be back. Okay, you got some topics for us? Do you know what? I've got quite a few topics today. A lot's been happening. Um, we've got a lot of situations with uh, the Spice Girls. They're back together. Uh, a bit of a reunion, so how do you guys feel about that? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? And they're back together? They're I definitely think it's a good thing. I love the Spice Girls. Do you think they've had their time, you know? Nah. nah. No, Spice Girls are definitely the girls. Yeah, I mean, I mean, back in the day they were really good, but you know, now you've got Rihanna, you've got Drake, yeah. you've, got, you know, you've got the current guys at the moment, you've got you know, the girl bands, Girls Aloud might be coming back as well. So it's a bit of competition for them. But I mean, Spice Girls, they are the originals. They are, they are the originals. They anyway, are we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Up next, more music, Dot Rotten. I've been everywhere, man, looking for you, babe. Looking for you, babe. Searching for you, babe. Okay, so that was Rihanna with Where Have You Been? Before that, I played David Guetta, Titanium and Dot Rotten Overload. I'm loving that track. So, Stephen, what have you got for me? What news, gossip, uh, updates? Well, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So we just spoke before about um, the Spice Girls back to, getting back together. Their reunion It's all very exciting at the moment with their theatre play. But um, off the back of that Rihanna track, we yeah. were just talking earlier about her being at Hackney Weekender headlining on Sunday's show. What do you think? Do you know what? I thought she was epic, but I couldn't, I couldn't get if she was on the trashy side or amazing. What do you think? Would you, do you think Rihanna's kind of going for what's working for her, do you reckon? I think Rihanna's done extremely well yeah. throughout her career. I mean, she's been on the scene since, what, 2005? She's been around for a while, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's accomplished her dreams. Yeah. But um, honestly, I don't think Rihanna's getting any better. Oh, I sense the butt here, so you think she needs to step it up a little bit? I think she needs to step it up a bit. I mean, in terms of performance-wise, I was expecting a lot more from her. Rihanna hardly sang live yeah. at Hackney Weekender. <laughs> she kind of tricked everyone and was like, guys, I need you to help me sing this song. I need like, a lot of help here, guys. I need a lot of help. And it was like, gosh, you do need a lot of help, yeah. don't you, girl? Yeah. Out of breath and just not on point as I expected. But I, I do have a soft spot for Rihanna. Yeah. Um, but I do think she needs to step it up just a little bit bit because she's her, the cracks are starting to show yeah. now yeah definitely well I heard she's been partying quite hard so maybe that's got a little thing or two to do with it but anyway guys what, what do you guys think at home get interactive um, text the word West Side followed by your message to 60300 that's 60300 and follow us on Twitter at Westside underscore FM you can also find us both on Twitter at Stephen Stallone and at Stallone spelled S-T-A-L-O-N-E and at I am underscore Marissa make sure that you put our Twitter names in your tweets more music on The Breakfast Show with Marissa and Stephen coming up next Avishi. So I've got Stephen in with me today. Yo, 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 how's it going, guys? My guest co-host. And we're going to talk to you about what we were talking about in the last hour. So if you've just tuned in, fill them in, Stephen, yeah, fill them in. Yeah, for so you guys who just tuned in, we're talking about um, Rihanna's performance. So we're trying to figure out if her performance was epic, life-changing, or if it was a bit trashy. So, I don't know, Marissa was saying that she thinks a bit, you know, that she's kind of lost it a little bit. She needs to kind of rein it back. And I kind of feel the same way, but... You know, what do you guys at home feel about it? I mean... I was a bit underwhelmed, yeah. Yeah, it could have been a bit better, couldn't it? Um, I don't know. But anyway, off the back of that, we're also talking about Jay-Z. So I was talking about Jay-Z's performance on Sunday, which I thought was amazing. Like, blow me away, blown me away. But I also feel that um, we need someone new now because he's been around for a while. Who do you think is going to be the next person to kind of, you know take the throne so to speak I'm thinking maybe Drake do you think Drake Drake mm, he's a bit emotional isn't he <laughs> <laughs> who are you recommending who are you thinking I don't know I mean rap isn't rap isn't like it used to be to be mm. honest with you yeah. and and everyone calls Jay-Z a legend but that's only because yeah. he's the last, last he's one old. alive he's the only one around <laughs> he's the only one around gone. I do appreciate Drake's music yeah. though but I have no idea who's going to be the next to take the throne maybe Tinchy Strider maybe Tiny Temper 
Who knows? I mean, Tiny Dabby. Temper's doing really... Dabby. Ah, <laughs> maybe not so much. Maybe Bradley from s might come back and drop a through. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, guys, yeah, get involved, um, get interactive, text the word Westside followed by your message to 60300. Also find us on Twitter at Westside underscore FM. Um, next up, we have more music from The Breakfast Show with me and Marissa. And we've got Misha B coming up, Kendrick Lamar and also Melanie Fiona. Keep it locked. Okay, guys, we're back, we're back, we're back. That was Melanie Fiona changed the record. Um, we had before that Misha B home run and also um, Kendra Lamar and um, The Recipe. So um, for those guys who just tuned in, you're joined by me, Stephen Stallone, and also Marissa. Um, and we're going to have the travel in the next um, few minutes around half past eight. Um, and for you guys who've just tuned in, we were chatting before about Rihanna. Um, and we're trying to figure out if she was epic or if her performance was a, was a bit skank we were trying to decide what what was the way forward for her and also to progress because we're kind of thinking she should change up a bit you know we're getting kind of used to that dancey sound um but again what do you guys think at home get involved and twitter us at westside underscore fm and um, also i'm gonna admit this i don't know if i should but that misha b track home run i'm really loving that at the moment i think it's a good track what do you reckon I love it i love it um when i look at misha b i i think missy elliott yeah um, I don't know if there's a resemblance in the way they look, but I just think Missy Elliott, and I think if Misha B was to collaborate with Missy Elliott, it would be so dope out of this world. I mean, I really want Misha B to do well, and I like the the new single, definitely. Yeah, for sure. I know that Missy Elliott got involved at one point and sent a, a Twitter message on X Factor. Um, I don't know if that will happen, but that would be epic if it did happen. Definitely. I think it's a good look for her. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, if you can get involved, send us a Twitter message at Westside underscore FM. And there's going to be more great music coming up, so keep it locked to Lockside FM. Up next, Azealia Banks. So, 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 while we're here, while we're here, I'm very excited because I just heard um, Justin Bieber's new track. And do you know what? I've got a complete, complete... 180. Is it 180 or 360? 180 on Justin Whatever Bieber. Whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is. That track is amazing. Like, I'm so into that track. I think it's As Long As You Love Me. That's such a good song. Um, Girlfriend was a bit of a change for me and I quite like that as well. Yeah. And I'm quite embarrassed. Why am I embarrassed to say that, Justin Bieber? Do you know what? Good. I used to be it's embarrassed crazy. as well, but I'm I'm just, I'm just going to come out with it. Yeah. I'm coming out. <laughs> oh, I'm gosh. a Justin Bieber fan. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I, I've decided <laughs> I am. Like, there's a new band who are also know called Statues of Us who are amazing. And they're, mm-hmm. they're like a new but indie band, kind of hip hop, Aussie hip hop band. And um, I'm, they're good mates of mine. So I'm going to let them loose. I'm going to let them know that I'm a big fan of Justin Bieber. So if you guys are at home, you want to find out as well about, about Justin Bieber or Statues of Us, check them out on the Twitter. And also Twitter us about Justin Bieber. Do you, do you like him? Are you a big fan? Yeah, hit us up at I am underscore Marissa and at Stephen Stallone. <laughs> More great music coming up on Westside. Keep it locked. And also Ashanti, The Woman You Love, which I, I quite like that song. What are you guys feeling about it? It didn't really do that well. Ashanti, what's happening? The video wasn't that great, but I reckon, I reckon with a bit more love, you could probably come back and, you know, kick it. Um, but yeah, I just I just received a tweet from um, a Justin Bieber Uber fan uh, since my admission that I quite think, I think he's really good. I think he's, I'm going to say, I think Justin Bieber's quality. Um, but I just got a tweet from... Um, Justin Bieber, some guy called at Justin Bieber. I don't think it's the actual Bieber, but anyway, he said, Stephen Stallone, I want to hug you. And I, I, I'm going to embrace the hug because I think the world needs a lot of love at the moment. And Justin Bieber is epic and his new track is really good. Loving that. Um, but anyway, we're taking shout outs. Um, so, and also track requests. So feel free to give us a buzz at Westside underscore FM or send, a, send us a message at 60300. Um, you're joined by me and also Marissa, who's just popped out. She's back now. She's back. She's just popped out for a... I'm back. She's back. She's back. Um, <laughs> I had to take a quick trick to the loo. She went to the loo. And I kind of tried to style it out, but it was fine. We embraced it. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. Um, so anyway, guys, yeah, we're back. So before that, we're talking about Rihanna and also um, about Jay-Z. Who's going to be the next Jay-Z? Um, I was thinking maybe Chinchy Strider mm, maybe doesn't cut it. But I think, I think at the moment... Um, Labyrinth is really good. I'm a big fan of the Labyrinth. 
so. I'm a very big fan of Labyrinth. I mean, what a t- talented individual. Um, what I notice is he's not only can he sing, he also produces music as well. And one of my favourite tracks that he produced was the Never Soft. Who needs D- uh, Miss Dynamite? Miss Dynamite, and I love Miss Dynamite. Do you know what? We're going to have to get that in. Yeah, Guys, you need out. to keep it locked to West Side on the breakfast show because I, I'm going to play a couple more tracks from Labyrinth. I played one earlier, but I'm going to play Miss Dynamite because that's one of my favourite uh, tracks. But like, um, like Stephen said, we are taking track requests. So if there's anything that you want to hear today, get interactive with us. Text word West Side followed by 6300. We're also on Twitter at I am underscore Marissa and at Stephen Salone. All Always include at Westside underscore FM. Is that a little bit too much information for you? They'll too- be all right. They'll be all right. You'll be all right. Okay, more great music coming up. Chip. Back. Keep it locked. The music man is here. Two hours into the breakfast show with Marissa and guest co-host Stephen on Westside 89.6 FM, the new sound of West London. As usual, I'm playing nothing but bangers this morning to help you get going on your way to work, college, uni, whatever it may be. So, guys, I've got a special guest in today. His name is Stephen Stallone. Hello, guys. How's it going? It's morning. I'm so tired, but I'm all right now. I've just kicked in and it's nine o'clock, so we're rocking and rolling. Yeah, when it gets to nine o'clock, I get a bit more pumped up. I am on it. I put the music on loud and I just get going. Yeah. I get going. But like I said, guys, I play music to get the people going, as they say in Bolling in Paris. So, Stephen, what are the hot topics today? Okay, so we've gone through a lot today. If you've just tuned in, um, the main topic was Brianna and basically her live performance on Sunday night at uh, Hackney Weekender. We're trying to figure out if it was skank or if it was actually quite amazing. We're trying to figure out what was the dynamic there. I I thought it was okay, but I mean, I don't know. I think she needs to change up a bit, to be fair. What, What do you reckon, Marissa? So what is it? Epic or skank? Epic or skank? Do we need to, do we need to set up a, a hashtag on Twitter? Let's, let's Twitter out there, see what the people are thinking. Okay, so guys, get interactive with us. You can either text the word Westside to 6300 or you can find us on Twitter at Westside underscore FM. Hit me up personally at I am underscore Marissa and we want to know whether you think Rihanna's performance at Hackney Weekend a weekend just gone was skank or epic. I'm not going to tell you what I think. Tell us what you guys think. Tell us what you think. So, Stephen, hit me with the gossip. So, guys, breaking news. Breaking news. Um, So, Alexandra Burke. Mm. Mm. So, her, her new album... Just just come into us. Her new album um, kind of bombed a bit. Um, so, off the back of her single, Elephant, which I thought was a tune, by the way. Complete tunage, I thought. It was all right. It all sounds right. really, really good on radio, yeah. I would say. I weren't live. impressed with the video, though. Yeah, the yeah, video and live performance is not so much. But I thought it was a good track. But anyway, her album hasn't done too well. So, we're, we're kind of thinking, you know, maybe some career options for her. Oh. Of course, telly shopping, maybe co op. Like, do you know uh, what I think? No, Stephen. They were to, uh, that's, that's a bit harsh, wasn't it? Now, I do love you, Alexandra, but on a serious note, I do feel like, you know, Mariah fell off, you know, late 1999, early 2000. But she will always come back. But she always come back. Maybe that is my is, girl. Maybe this is Alexandra's time, you know? Maybe she's just dropped off a bit and she'll be back, you know, with a smashing new album and a new look. What do you reckon? Well, I. I don't know what it is with Alexandra Burke. I mean, she didn't make a good pr- impression on the X Factor when she did um, the judging slot. And um, she was a bit much. Mm, a bit intense. A bit intense. And, and considering her music career isn't going down too well, I thought, mm, I don't know. But, but I do wish uh, the best for Alexandra Burke. Um, the Elephant in a Room track was all right on trend that on trend a, maybe on if trend, she, yeah. maybe if she did a little bit more a little bit more tracks like that yeah, then maybe yeah. we'll get some more radio play yeah maybe maybe let me see if i can find a track from alexandra yeah, burke let's do it let's support the burke cause yeah let's let's, let's do it for the burks let's do it for the burks and support uk more bangers up <laughs> stick around this is the breakfast show on west side up next french montana hey you bring me a hundred bottles yeah. It's a little dark in here. It's time we light this up. Come on, come on, let's. On one o'clock today, 
Um, that's the latest travel for you guys and weather update. Stay tuned to The Breakfast Show with me and Marissa. For more great music, stay tuned to Westside. Flow Rider. Alexander, girl, I know what you like. Bad boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, good, that's, good. that's a bit embarrassing. Sorry about that, guys. I know it's early. Have to so, that. so before the travel and weather, done kindly by Stephen, I played David Gutter Titanium, followed by Alexandra Burke, Bad Boy. So I played that track um, because I said I was going to for the fun of it. Stephen, what do you reckon? I think that's a tunage. I think we, we had to throw back to Alexandra, give her a bit of respect, you know, to understand where she's come from. Mm. So, <laughs> to, uh, yeah, to regrain some kind of uh, credibility, we're going to tra- try and track on some, chuck on some good tracks for you now, some good dancey tracks for you to get you kicking. Yeah, definitely. Um, we were talking about um, Labyrinth earlier on, and I was saying that he's a brilliant artist. He's not only a singer, but also a producer. And one of my favourite tracks that he produced was the Miss Dynamite track, Never Soch, sure which is. I'm going to fling on in a moment. But I do want to bring it back to Alexandra Burke, Stephen, because you suggested talking I about did, her, and you suggested that she should... Um, change her career. Well, I just, I just think maybe she's had her time. You know, I think she should give it up. Maybe take a bit of a hiatus. She's had of, her time. A little bit, yeah. But do you know what? To be fair, to be fair, I do reckon. Look, I said Mariah went through the same thing back in you know late late nineties, early two thousands. Maybe she could bring it back. If not, she's still got you know Argos. Maybe a bit of Argos. Telly, <laughs> that is Telly mean. Stopping, that you know, is a mean. Co-op, it's there. There's Mar- options. Mariah's you know. in town, by the way. I saw her coming out of the. I did not see her personally. I wasn't stalking her just in case you thought I was stalking her I'm not a stalker I saw a picture of her in the newspaper coming out of the Dorchester Hotel dressed in um, a really nice um, red Mac lady in red she's back She's going to be coming out with a new album shortly and I can't wait for it because I stand for Mariah Carey. I can do Mariah. I, can, sure. I love a bit of Mariah. But for now, guys, I'm going to play Miss Dynamite. Remember, it's just under 20 minutes left for the show. Uh, so get your last minute shout-outs shout outs and chat requests done. Text the word Westside followed by your message to 6300. We're on twitter as well at westside underscore affair hit me up at i am underscore marissa you can also find steven at steven stallone do, do you get yeah, that's, do that's, you get do you get do you get people true, comparing you to yeah i do i do i used to um and i still do most of the time but my middle name's stallone and i've adopted it because before i used to hate it but now i think it's quite cool it's quite retro <laughs> throw back to you know, rocky and adrian all of that yeah stuff. all that sort yeah. of stuff because the first thing because i, I want to call you sylvester stallone but your name is steven so it's i must steven. <laughs> Stick with that one for the moment. <laughs> so guys, keep it locked, get to your last minute track request in. Up next, Miss Dynamite with Never Soft. Take your words now. Take your words now. We're gonna fight into your heart. Hey, yeah. We can make it Okay, so that was Labyrinth with Earthquake. Before that, I played Miss Dynamite, Never Sop. Never Sop. Never Never Sop. (laughs) Never Soft. Uh, Both produced by Labyrinth. So, Stephen, you were in the studio just a minute ago talking about Drake and Chris Brown. You know what? I was, I was. Because I know that Drake and Chris Brown had a massive bust up. Apparently they did. Or it was their bouncers who were seriously involved. But we're just talking about this because um, a massive billionaire called Al- Alkai, Alkai David, um, he offered Chris Brown and Drake $600,000. Let, let's repeat that. $600,000. This is a true story, by the way. Um, to fire out in the ring. Um, and apparently he was saying some of the money to go to charity, but who cares? I mean, that would be a fight I'd want to see. But I, I was just throwing this back to Marissa to find out who, who she think would win in that fight. I personally think... I, you know, I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna put on the underdog, and I'd say Drake could win that. I know Chris Brown's a bit beefed up, and you know he's been at the gym, but I think Drake, you know, Drake could pull it off. I reckon. The question is, will they do it? <laughs> do you know what? I, do you know? What? I, I personally think that Chris Brown would do it. You know, he's got a bit of a history of Rihanna. Let's not go into that right now. Yeah. Out of time. But I think I think 
I don't know. I don't know if Drake would do it. He seems more of a lover than a fighter, to be fair. I don't know if it's appropriate. I don't. I think you just it's just going to make a mockery of the whole situation. Yeah. Like, I mean, we, we're still not very clear on the details as to why they were fighting, I mean, brawling in, in the club anyway. Rihanna, you know. Well, they're saying it's Rihanna. The replay, but... <laughs> all of that. Something was going on there. We didn't know about, but, you know. Well, I mean, who? I mean, who would you put money on to win? Okay, so finally. On, okay, so on a serious note, I def I put money on to win. I'm gonna backtrack on a backtrack. I'm gonna put money on Chris Brown to win because he's all beefed up. But I think if I was gonna put money on the underdog, I'd say I'd say Drake because you know I think he could probably pull it out. And I think you know Chris Brown is a young boy to be honest, and you know Drake's a bit more aware. So I think you know. Yeah, Drake might just. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what? Since, since we're throwing names out there, we've you know we've talked about Justin Bieber. Yeah. I think if Justin Bieber jumped in there. Yeah, right you in, know the what? So in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have a chance to be fair and I'm sure you guys at home agree with us so. oh my gosh speaking of Justin Bieber I'm going to leave you guys with a track requested by actress Me Reese out there on the east side Mariah Carey who collaborated with Justin Bieber on one of her smash hits Christmas track the Christmas track yeah um, but before I go let me just remind you to tune in next week Monday to Wednesday 7 till 10 for the breakfast show with Marissa and hopefully my guest co-host Stephen will be Back. with me again but make sure that you're locked in up next is the daytime show firstly mariah carey take care guys and i was like why are you so obsessed with me